The program you are about to listen to is intended for adult entertainment only. It does not generate money of any kind. The creators of the program urge you to support the artists you hear on this show by either purchasing the song on iTunes and other various sites or simply finding their YouTube channels if possible. It is very likely that the content you are about to hear will offend you. So, listener expression is advised. Oh, wait, uh, I think I said that wrong. Uh, listener discretion is advised. Apparently, that's how it's supposed to say. Okay, guys, that's a wrap. Ooh. Well, I guess that covers everything. So, still not satisfied after all of that. Then, all I can tell you is kick rocks or call the cops. Oh, shit, you did. Snitches get stitches. Take that, coppers. Well, good news is, I got away. Bad news is, I think I pooped myself. Here's a little story about a man with a shed. He was really bored, so this is what he said. Hey, you know what? I'm going to get on the radio. So now in his shed, he does a funny show. Broadcasting, that is. Radio Gold. It's pretty funny. Welcome to The Shed Show. It's me, your DJ, Uncle Bobby. Um, the Shed Show is brought to you, or uh, sponsored, I guess I should say, by Shieldbilly Internet Radio. Um, uh, yes, I know, I know. Unfortunately, Joe Seeker, who is uh, the, the founder, producer, and uh, creator of uh, Shieldbilly Internet Radio, is not with us today. Because he is uh, quite busy. Um, he's very busy right now uh, stealing Mexicans' jobs. That's right. Um, you know, and that's a lesson to be learned for you, uh, m- uh, my fellow Americans. Uh, we're always bitching about the Mexicans stealing our jobs. Yeah, you know, you, you, you're just stealing the joke right away from me, aren't you, AP Ducks? We're worried about the Mexicans stealing our jobs, but uh, the Mexicans got to worry about the Canadians stealing their jobs. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to you're gonna steal it, you can at least say it loud enough so everybody can hear it. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, my significant other, my fiance, my love of my life, Auntie Jugs is sitting next to us, so we might have, hear commentations uh, here and there through her. She's shaking her head now, so uh, I don't know. We might. Uh, but if anything, we'll at least have that nice ambiance of her folding letters and papers. That's always great. <laughs> hey, I'm not bitching. It's better than the fucking TV blasting in the background. <laughs> oh, God, she's doing it on purpose now. <laughs> anyway, let's get right to it. Uh, we got a busy show, so I want to try to squeeze everything in and if, if we can. Um, what? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. she <laughs> said. Let's do the news. Yes, what is it, Brett? I would like to extend to you an invitation to the pants party. Party. The pants with the pants. Party with pants. Brick, are you saying that there's a party in your pants and that I'm invited? That's it. Years later, a doctor will tell me that I have an IQ of 48 and am what some people call mentally retarded. Rick, are you just looking at things in the office and saying that you love them? Como están, DJs? Spanish language news is here. Rick, where'd you get a hand grenade? I don't know. You jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Yeah, I stabbed a man in the heart. Picking up, he's working up my appetite. Looking forward to a little afternoon delight. Rubbing sticks and stones together, make the sparks ignite. And the thought of loving you is getting so exciting. Sky rockets in flight. Woo! Afternoon delight. You guys have it, I think. Huh. A whale's vagina. <laughs> 
And today's uh, news is brought to you by HuffingtonPost.com. Sex in, tr in a sex in a tree leads to painful, bloody mess and uh, mess in, bloody mess in. Sex sent me to the ER. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Timber isn't the safest fantasy. That was couple Eric and uh, Selena found out during a recent sex romp in a tree. They had a bloody awful experience that is dramatized on the episode of Sex Sent Me to the ER. Baby, can we have sex in a tree? Oh, alright. <laughs> well, I guess the story doesn't, isn't gonna, uh, you know, isn't the, uh, is the best story to get you to want to do it. But, uh, you know, <laughs> she said, "Oh, you don't have sex in a bed, but you want to have sex in a tree." I'm trying to say, well, maybe you don't. Maybe you have a fear of beds and sex and, and putting them together. So I thought maybe the tree, you know, be nah. one with nature would help. I don't. I'm just trying to, you know, listen. E for effort, you know, sweetie. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you for giving me that. Um. Um. Eric suggested they attempt sex in a tree. Selena even agreed, although. She secretly hated nature, <laughs> with good reason, it turns out. The couple was uh, trying to get freaky on a limb when Eric felt something move on the tree. Pervert. <laughs> this, is the, this is them writing it, not me. Uh, I, felt, I felt it snap, he said in, in the epi on the episode. My hand slipped, and I came tumbling down. Eric tried to hold on to the tree with his legs. Well, that apparently didn't work because he fell and, and, and uh, uh, he's all right. He got stitches in there and, and everything else, but uh, uh, he made it. So God bless that couple. They'll probably never do it outside. I mean, you, you, should, you, gotta, you gotta learn to walk before, I mean, learn to crawl before you learn to walk. So they probably should have started, if they're gonna do it outside, like started down at the bottom of the tree, you know what I mean? Or, or you know, in the backyard on the fence or something like that. Uh, that's a little extreme right away, you know what I mean? Or, you know, uh, in a tree house maybe, that that would be okay, you know. That'd be safer anyway. Um, second story up, uh, which this one is hilarious. Woman stabbed for bringing boyfriend wrong lunch. Bring me the wrong lunch again, uh, Auntie Jugs, and you're going to get it. <laughs> and again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, you don't make lunch. <laughs> That's right. My bad. We're new Newsy. I'm Jasmine Bailey. A man in Texas is accused girlfriend for bringing home the wrong food for lunch. 34-year-old Michael Corsi apparently wasn't happy when his girlfriend, who hasn't been named, brought a pizza to their Waco home Friday afternoon. 
The girlfriend reportedly brought that pizza, even though Corsi asked her to go out and bring him a chicken sandwich. Things soon turned ugly when Corsi allegedly pulled out a kitchen knife and stabbed his girlfriend. Waco <laughs> Tribune reports Corsi also allegedly hit his girlfriend in the face and choked her over the lunch mix-up. KWTX notes police arrived at the scene just before 1 p.m. Friday. Luckily, the girlfriend wasn't seriously hurt and paramedics were able to treat her wounds. None of the local outlets in Waco have shown a mugshot of the alleged stabber. They're mainly focusing on the bizarre nature of the stabbing. This pizza-related stabbing comes just one week after a man in Iowa threatened to cut his brother after being confronted about eating too many peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. A la peanut butter sandwiches! A la peanut butter sandwiches! All right. Uh, women stab... Shut up, Max! Woman stabbed for bringing boyfriend wrong lunch. Um, I mean, I don't know what's wrong with that dog. He, he barks at nothing. Nothing. N the trash man's here? Max, come here, boy. Come here, Max. Max. Come on, boy. Max, come on, boy. $150 fucking mistake, that goddamn dog. Come here. Max. God damn it. Uh, I guess I'll play the clip first before I read it. Oh, no, I already played the clip. Jesus Christ almighty. Uh, well, good news reporters pushed through it. A woman was attacked uh, by her boyfriend because she brought home the wrong lunch, police say. Uh, the Associated Press reports that Michael Corsi allegedly stabbed his girlfriend with a kitchen knife after she brought home pizza. <laughs> Instead of the chicken sandwich that he asked for, serve the bitch right. That's what I say. <laughs> Cop said the woman who was also choked and hit in the face by Corsi was treated for minor injuries. Sadly, uh, alleged attacks over pretty arguments are, uh, over petty arguments are far from uncommon. And uh, you know, obviously. You know, this is one of them guys that, it, it, you know, that comes home and there's dishes in the sink and beats his wife. So, you know, he's got the nice wife beater on, drinks Budweiser, plays country music. You know, the typical stereotype, I'm imagining. So, so uh, you know, that's what it's, it's, it's common. That's what it's common. Like, you know, white trash and scumbags and, and stuff like that. Like, you know, you know, uh, uh, people who uh, want to take their, uh, their, they're miss, you know, they, they, they got a crappy job that they never wanted and they wanted to do something else with their life and, and they didn't because they're lazy or losers or just pieces of shit and they take it out on their, on their kids and their wife and all that. So, I mean, it is common, but uh, uh, not, for, not common with normal people, okay? No, one, no normal person beats or stabs their wife uh, for getting the wrong goddamn fucking lunch. I, I can't even get my old lady to make me lunch. You don't see me stabbing her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, when we come back, um, the movie review. That review. Review. Re 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 <laughs> movie review. Right after this. Hey, champ. Why the long face? I don't know, Scott Bayo. I really screwed up last night. Come on. Talk to me. Tell me what happened. All right. I'll try. I took her on a date. Things seemed so bright. I knew I would not need my U-porn tonight. We go to her place and Fool around, we throw all our clothes to the ground. We begin as she turns out the lights. I start but feel something so very extra tight. I hear her cry and I see her frown. I look at the condom, it is all brown. in the wrong hole. 
Brought to you today by uh, the movie Loser, I think it's called. The who? The who? Now I noticed that I've lost goddamn connection for a second, so uh, you know, actually a pretty good show so far until that. And I'm gonna listen back to it and get friggin' pissed because now my show's ruined. The stupid goddamn internet. Oh man, it makes me mad. And and, and you know. Ugh. Oh, I'm disgusted. It's nice out too. Like there, you know, what, what what's the excuse? Uh, you know, the weather is fine. Why is it not? Why is my cable not where? I don't understand. I really don't get it. I don't know if it's the cable or the computer. Uh, you know, the the phone doesn't always work great. I get real bad connection when I pick up the phone. Uh, I get real bad, uh, you know, signal on my on my cable uh, uh, for my TV sometimes even. So I, I really don't think it's it's the computer. I think it's all three. I think it's my goddamn cable company, and uh, they better shape up, or I will go somewhere else. I will do it. I swear. <laughs> anyway, so the movie review is uh, uh I watched the movie. It's probably an older movie. It was like on TNT. I basically just want to do this bit, so uh, <coughs> excuse me, so I can um play the newest. Greatest movie quotes in the past two decades. Um, I had this one that I played forever, uh, you know, uh, movie insults and, and a couple other ones that I played. And this is a newer one, so um, I, w I basically just want to be able to play that. And uh, we're almost done, so we're going to leave in a minute. Someone is, of course, in the chat. Love Muffin. Hi, Jen Jen. Bye, Jen Jen. <laughs> Bye. I'm going to put that in the chat, too. But hi, Jen Jen. Bye, Jen Jen. Or hi, Jen. Bye, Jen. It's easier. LOL. Uh, 
Shout out to Love Muffin, Jen Jen, uh, the intern in the chat room. Uh, you're late, sweetie. Uh, that doesn't dock in your pay. I'm sorry. I got to do it. It's the only way you're going to learn. You know what I mean? I know. I know. But, it, it, you know, I got to. It's tough love. It's tough love. LOL, you suck. <laughs> well, look, I got, you know what I mean? I don't know what to tell you. I, I do 30 minutes now. I, I haven't paid for the show. Or, uh, you know, I might. I may or may not. Um, put this, put you know, get get a pay and, and get a pay when I have the uh, extra money. I may or may not do that. I, I might not. I might just because uh, uh, what we're doing now is I, I'm part of Show Building at Radio, which I really kind of always am. But we got to figure it out. Uh, for once, Joe had a great idea, and we just take these half hour shows, do a couple a day, one or two a day when I can, and he'll throw them up on on his show and, and showcase them out there. You know what I mean? So, so we're hard on both spots. So I don't know. I mean, it, it would. It, I mean, that'd be cool because then you'd have more stuff to play, and I wouldn't have to do two shows. I could do one big show, and you could play that every day. You know what I mean? So, we'll we'll see. I, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's it. We're done. We're done, Jen. Jen, I'm sorry. You're late. You're doing a. Uh, you're doing any more today? Yes, in fact, I am. I have to do at least one more, as said of my contract. So I'll talk to you on Skype, Jen Jen, because I ain't getting right off, but the show's about to end, and I got this clip to play. So uh, we're out of here. See you, everybody. Time to nut up or shut up. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Ventura! Yes, Satan? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You sounded like someone else. I just wish your friends were as mature as you. They are mature, actually. You just have to get to know them better. Paging Dr. Faggot! Dr. Faggot! I should go. That's a good idea, Dr. Faggot. <laughs> It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Move, my move, move, move. Sanka, you dead? Yeah, man. How about you be coyote? First rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. All right, the key elements for a successful sled team are a steady driver and three strong runners to push off down the ice. Ice! Ice! It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor at all. Fanny? Bring me everyone. What do you mean everyone? Everyone! ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. I gotta find Baba! Look, I'm asking me. He's shaking. Not stirred. And should we win the day, the 4th of July will no longer be known as an American holiday, but as the day when the world declared in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night. We will not finish without a fight. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. Show me the money. Show me the money. I need to feel you, Jerry. Show me the money. Jerry, you better yell. Show me.
I'm a cop, you idiot. I'm Detective John Kimball. Hi. Hi. New in the building? Yeah, I just moved in Monday. Oh. You like it so far? Mm-hmm. Everybody's been real nice. Well, that's because you have big jugs. I mean, your boobs are huge. I mean, I want to squeeze them. Oh. Mama. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. You know what the difference is between you and me? I make this look good. And Bubba come crawling out the back door. Both legs missing. Lula made baby boy. And he look up at me and said, Pete, I can't feel my legs. I said, Bubba, they ain't there. You hungry? Hey, Ma! We get some meatloaf! Le who? The her. Hey, Mom! The meatloaf! Must have the precious. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the North, general of the Felix Legions, loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius, father to a murdered son, Husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. I want to play a game. You can do it! You in there? If he's still in there, he ain't happy. I love you. I never know what she's doing back there. Ma, the meatloaf! Spoken! Do you like scary movies, Sydney? Oh, you were the box. Who was in the box? Because I envy your normal life. Put the gun down, David. It seems that envy is my son. Oh, what's in the box? I don't want them to gain another yard. You blitz! All night! And if they cross a line of scrimmage, I'm gonna take every last one of you out. You make sure they remember forever the night they played the Titans. Hasta la vista, baby. And he says, why so serious? This is Sparta! You can do it! You can do it! You can do it! Is there no one else? Is there no one else? Houston, we have a problem. I'm the king of the world! I'm a Welcome to Jurassic Park. I will look for you. I will find you, and I will kill you. And no man forget how menacing we are. We are lions! You know what's there? Waiting, beyond that beach. Immortality! Take it! It's yours! Beneath this mask, there is more than flesh. Beneath this mask, there is an idea, Mr. Creedy. And ideas are bulletproof. The name's Bond. James Bond.